That's what they did to us in Terrace View. Those little townhouses at the front. Hmm. I've never been to Maple Ridge before. Oh, I see. This film I'm creating was originally just going to be a script. I didn't really have a plan to produce it. I was just gonna submit it as a script and work on it like that. But obviously we ended up producing it. I feel like I'm a semi-real filmmaker, I guess. I thought someone was behind me. <laughs> I like this. I'm going to have to have auto ISO on because that is so white. Weather is obviously a big hindrance especially if you're shooting outside. I woke up on Friday and I just remember being in bed and hearing the rain on my rooftop. We've lost the whole day of shooting. Saturday, it rained that morning. I was freaking out. So I pushed it back an hour, which honestly was the best idea because we got there and it was beautiful. I was under the assumption that I could drive my car up to the campsite. Well, that didn't happen because it is muddy. So we ended up having to walk a mile uphill with big bags of camera equipment. Um, oh. It was very exhausting. Oh, no. Bro, oh, shit. I didn't even notice the bed. So once we got to the top, I started unpacking the, uh, the boom, like all that stuff. And then Tatum, she's like, this doesn't fit on the pole. So I go over there, look at it. And there was like nothing there to attach the boom mic onto the pole. Fire, but I think the wood's too wet, so we're This is not. It's just falling off and everything, so I'm like, okay, let me just go back up there and see if Travis has any tape. Oh, it's just like a roll, because it's like a small pole. I don't need a lot. Oh, awesome, thank you so much. We probably won't even need this much, so I'll bring it back. Yeah, you know you need. Thank God he has duct tape, because I don't know what we would have done if he had not had duct tape. Um, it would have been an ordeal. Scene 1B1, take 2. Scene 1B1, take 3. Take four, take five, take seven. Another big issue was the wind. It was exceedingly windy that day. Um, turns out really Madison checks uh, her phone and wind. realizes Heading that there was a wind advisory um, during our shoot that day. I expect it to be at its strongest. That's your wind gusts between 40 and perhaps 55 miles per hour. God damn. Can we chill the fuck out with this wind, bro? I'm getting angry. It still sounds like windy. I mean, it's good right now. Is it really bad? Unfortunately, the jacket wasn't nearly thick enough or sturdy enough to block the wind. What I ended up having to do was literally just, just like be like as big as I can and stand in front of the microphone and use my own body as a windshield. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't like unusable. That's scary. As soon as we walked into the cabin, we knew the lighting wasn't suited for the look that we were going for. It was too warm, and not to mention the wood is also warm. So the warm light on the warm wood made it look just like, I don't know, an episode of Breaking Bad. And I think we were offset by maybe an hour, possibly yeah, two hours, like just trying to figure out what kind of lighting we wanted to go with. 2G, take one. Ooh, actually, I like that. Putting your finger on it like that. Just kind of. Yeah, and then picking it up. Once we wrapped up in the cabin, uh, we ended up going outside. And that day, it was so cold for some reason. And I felt awful because there's a scene where Devin has to wear just a t-shirt. And he's also dipping his hands 
in the cold creek water. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that we, ah, uh, we might have to go back to the stream. We're almost done, I swear. I felt so awful having to be like, I'm so sorry. Can we please do that again? Because he's literally freezing. You can tell his arms are red. You can see his goosebumps. Like, I'm trying to get this over with as soon as possible. give it like a nine out of ten I would say obviously we ran into our issues with wind and weather and rain and all this different stuff but overall I had fun I'm glad I did it I would have rather done it than not <laughs> what does Charles always say moving, moving. Is adaptive it's problem solving problem solving filmmaking is problem solving